Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan Knows Tech here for today from techinform.us. The different view is because we're on a different computer. You can see from the screen behind my face. Hopefully I got the webcam working. If not, then you don't see my face. We're using Camtasia Studio 7 or 8, whatever the latest is here on my Lenovo ThinkPad Z series running Windows 7. So today's video is a request of a comment off yesterday's video about getting your Mac, MacBook, whatever kind of Mac you've got to work on an external monitor. And today, real easy video, real short video. Uh, how to do the same thing on a PC. It's actually a, a little bit easier on the PC side, I think. Um, a couple ways to do it. The easiest way, uh, I should probably clarify, this is going to be Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Windows Vista is a little bit different than Windows 7, but it's the same idea, same place. Windows XP is different and much harder yet. You right-hand click on your desktop, you go down to Properties, it's going to say Properties there instead of Personalize. Then you've got a whole different... Um, whole different menu here. You can go to display settings and most of that information will be found in there. A little bit harder, not too bad, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to figure it out. But anyways, here's how to do it in Windows 7. The easiest way to do it is to hold down your Windows key on your keyboard and press the P key. P standing for projector. I can't change it right now on camera. It's going to screw up the desktop recording. You can disconnect the projector. Obviously that's going to mean that you're only using your laptop display. Probably don't want to do that. You can duplicate it. Keep in mind, this is going to, it's only going to allow one resolution to work. So unless your laptop display and your monitor are the same resolution, I don't recommend doing this. Extend. This is a real nice option, actually. I use this um, relatively often. You can set one of the displays to be your desktop, and the other one is just blank, and you can drag windows on it. Nice having uh, kind of like a, a dual display setup. And then projector only is what I'm doing right now, and that allows you to completely not use your laptop display at all and send all that video over to your monitor. So that's what we're going to do for the, uh, the purpose of this video. Um, that's the easiest way to set it up. To get into more information, more information, more information, right click on your desktop, go to setup or a screen display, screen resolution, whatever they're calling it. Here's a screen resolution. In here you can choose which monitor you want to mess with. Let's mess with monitor 2 since that's the, the Asus or Asus here. Um, here's your resolution. It's going to tell you all of the resolutions this supports. Well, the best resolution is usually the highest resolution. See it says recommended there. It's in bold 1920 by 1080. That's what this monitor was designed to run. So we're going to leave that there. Orientation. Landscape, portrait, probably want it so you can see it. And then if you have multiple displays, it gives you these options here. Duplicate these displays. Nah. Extend, maybe. Um, show desktop on one or two. That's nice. You can also click this detect button here. That's going to look for more. And then identify. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but it puts a big two or a one on the screen depending on which screen you're looking at. So um, you can rearrange them just like you can on the Mac by taking them here and dragging them around, moving on this side. Real easy to do that. Um, same thing with the other display. Click and change the settings here. Now since we're not extending and we're just using the main monitor here, I can't change those settings because it's not even in use. So that's pretty much it. It's real easy to set this up. Just plug in your cable. I'm using VGA. Uh, Windows pretty much does the rest. If it doesn't find it automatically, make sure your monitor is looking at the right input. Flag P, choose your settings here, or uh, right hand click and screen resolution. It's all in there, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, I would like to comment on something. Our live web show changes have uh, times have changed. They're not 7 to 9 anymore, it's 8 to 9. During that hour, we're going to try to be more productive, and that is uh, p.m. time, of course, on Tuesday nights, Eastern Standard Time. So that's all the way over here on the East Coast. Our website, again, is techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz, and then all those links are found down below. Subscribe if you haven't, like the video, leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.